The Bible tells us that there is coming a day when millions of people will be evacuated from this world in a moment. It will be a time of chaos never before experienced in this earth. Those of us who are watching what is happening in the world today believe that the time for that event is drawing near. The event that I'm describing is what the Bible calls the rapture. According to Pastor David Jeremiah, the rapture, as described in the Bible, will be a pivotal moment in human history, marking the sudden and miraculous evacuation of millions of believers from the earth. This event will not only bring chaos and upheaval to those left behind, but also serve as a testament to God's promise of deliverance for his faithful followers. Before we look at the passage of Scripture that describes this event, I want to answer a question that a little girl asked her mother after she heard me preach a similar truth at Shadow Mountain. It was a very insightful question, and the mother told me as I was working out the next day in the gym, here's what my little girl asked me, and you need to give me an answer so I can go home and tell her what the answer is. Here was her question. Dr. Jeremiah keeps talking about all the signs that are developing concerning the Lord's return. And then in the next breath, he says, and nothing needs to happen before Jesus comes back to take us home to be with him. Now, Mom, that doesn't make any sense to me. Either there are signs or there aren't signs. What does the pastor mean? It's a very insightful question that demands an answer. And the best way for me to answer it is to show you a little diagram on the screen behind me. This diagram will help you understand that there is coming a time when some events are going to take place and they're going to be sequenced. The first thing that you see on this chart is the first coming of Christ. And of course, then after the first coming of Christ comes the next event. The next event is the church age. That's where we are right now. We're living in the church age, the age between the coming of Christ the first time and the coming of Christ the second time. How many of you know what the next thing is? Right after the church age, what's going to change everything forever is this event we call the rapture. In answering the young girl's question, Pastor Jeremiah points to the prophecy chart showing that we are currently living in the church age. According to biblical prophecy, the next major event to take place is the rapture. This is a significant truth that we need to understand and be prepared for. Now let's continue with the rest of the response and dive deeper into what this means for us today. Notice, the rapture shows Jesus coming from heaven, but he doesn't come all the way to the earth. The Bible says we're going to be caught up into the heavens to be with him, and then we're going to go back to heaven with him in the rapture. After the rapture, a period of great tribulation will take place on this earth for seven years. At the end of the seven-year tribulation, the second coming of Christ takes place. Now, here's where the disconnect is for most people who get confused about the future. The rapture and the second coming of Christ are not the same thing. The rapture is when Jesus comes back to take his people back to heaven with him, then tribulation on the earth takes place, and then the second coming is when Jesus comes back and the Bible says he comes with all of the people of God and with all the angels and sets up his kingdom on this earth. Clarifying a crucial distinction in end time events, Pastor David Jeremiah emphasizes that the rapture and the second coming of Christ are two separate occurrences. Pastor David Jeremiah clarifies the difference between the rapture and second coming. In the rapture, Jesus takes believers to heaven, escaping tribulation. In the second coming, Jesus returns with believers, establishing his kingdom on earth. Know the distinction. Now here's the answer to that young girl's question. There are no signs for the rapture. The rapture could happen at any time. But the New Testament is filled with signs for the second coming. But guess what? Every event casts its shadow before us. So if there are signs for the second advent, and they tell us that the second advent is coming, that means the rapture seven years before that, so the rapture is surely coming, isn't it? So when we study the prophecies of the Bible, and we see the regathering of Israel, and we see the collection of the nations of Europe, and we see all the things that are happening on the prophetic scene, what we know is this, our redemption is drawing nigh. In answering the young girl, Pastor David Jeremiah sheds light on the rapture and second coming. The rapture, he explains, can happen at any moment without warning signs, but the second coming, a separate event, is preceded by distinct signs. Interestingly, every event casts its shadow before it happens, 
so the signs of the second coming actually hint at the rapture's nearness seven years beforehand. The Bible tells us that Jesus is going to come back, and I've, I know I might embarrass myself a little bit by saying this, but I tell people everywhere I go, I expect to be here when Jesus comes back for the rapture. I believe that things are so close that if the Lord lets me live out my life, I'm going to see the rapture. And I've come up with a little slogan, I'd rather see the upper taker than the undertaker, wouldn't you? I'm really looking forward to that. I am. As we study Bible prophecies, we see Israel's restoration, Europe's unity, and global turmoil unfolding. These signs whisper, redemption is near. With Pastor David Jeremiah's insightful guidance, we're reminded that Jesus' return is sooner than we think, filling our hearts with hope and urgency. Thank you for watching. If this message has blessed you, we'd love to hear about it. Subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Share your feedback in the comments below. God bless you abundantly. Amen.